All right, last game we're gonna see San Francisco Giants, and then we play somebody else. I don't know who we play next, but then we go to San Francisco to play the Giants. They are 50 and 45. They're on a like a three-game losing streak. They're looking to get a win here, sneak one out. No, no, no. They're not on a three-game losing streak. They're on a one-game losing streak. I forgot they already beat us. Once in the series, and Max Scherzer's on the mound. This is his 19 star, 10 and 3, 2.98 ERA, 117.2 third innings, uh, 88 hits, 30 walks, and 113 strikeouts on the year. The Dodgers are looking to win this series here today, and the San Francisco Giants are looking to tie this series up, and uh, we'll see what they can do here. Starling Marte will lead off the top of the first. Just like all the other games, the first pitch will be a swung on and missed for strike one as Starling Marte misses that first pitch. All right, the 0-1 and now the 0-1 cutter from Scherzer. It uh, left and fouled. Defense looks a little different today, and uh, I'll break it down right after this pitch. The 0-2 curve. It will strike out Marte. So the starting battery is Will Smith and Max Scherzer. Third base is JT. Shortstop is Kyle Seeker. Second base is Max Muncy for the, I think for the second time or the first time this year. First base is Ryan Braun. Right field, Mookie Betts. Center field, Chris Taylor. And left field, Trey Turner. That's what our defense is looking like today. And now that will bring up Buster Posey hitting 227. First time we get to see him. All series long, so good to see that he's catching today for the starting battery of... Oh, man, I thought I'd never say this again, but the starting battery of Madison Bumgarner and Buster Posey. Maybe that's why the Giants haven't played Posey once in this series. They're getting ready for Madison Bumgarner's Giants debut back with the team as this is hit the center. Taylor will get under this one, two away. But his batting average is a lot lower than Kurt Casale's with a 2.27, so it's kind of tough. All right, two away, and now that'll bring up Matt Chapman hitting 2.67, uh, 20 home runs, 54 RBIs. The first pitch fastball from Scherzer, ball strike one. <clears throat> A one and now the 0 1 changeup. Hit. Turner, nice play. Throw to Braun. And a 1 2 3 inning for Max Scherzer. He'll take it. Alright, Madison Bumgarner. Look at this, man. 21st start, 3 and 6, 3.86 CRA, 112 innings, 115 hits, giving up 42 walks. 77 strikeouts, man. He must be happy to be back in the San Francisco Giants jersey. They're making a push for the playoffs. The D-backs decided we don't need Mad Bum. Let's trade him away. And they decided to trade him to the uh, to the Giants for I don't even know who. Uh, so, interesting trade and Madison Bumgarner's first pitch. And the Giants uniform will be strike one to Buster Posey. That probably felt amazing. For Madison Bumgarner, Giants come into this game being five games above 500 as it's 1-1 one one out of bets. They are trying to tie up this series, and if they don't, their next series, they're trying to get a sweep or win two out of three just to get back in the win column, get back into probably feeling good again, and Madison Bumgarner and Buster Posey are going to try and do what they need to do here today to make sure their team could win this ball game is that hit the, that's hit the Chapman throw the first and one away man this is kind of like nostalgia like Posey catching Crawford at short Bumgarner on the mound Brandon Belt at first like it feels it feels like the Giants like close not 2014 but not 2014 team but you know a lot of these players play with each other a few years ago and now they're back at it in MLB the show 21 uh, not in real life even though that'd be dope 1-1 um, one, one. alright the 1-1 one from Bumgarner 2-1 two too bad uh, I, uh, Yossiel Puig's not in the video game I'd sign him and this would be even more exciting 2-1 3-1 
Good to see Buster Posey make a start, man. Kirk Casale started three out of four games here at Dodger Stadium, so I thought we were never going to see Buster Posey, but thankfully we get to see him one game. It's just it's crazy that Gabe Kapler does not make Buster Posey the starters. That's a strikeout two away. I mean, Kirk Casale's batting average is way better than Buster Posey's, but... As a Giants fan, I'd rather see the legend Buster Posey behind home plate. And Kirk Casale hasn't done much in the series, you know? So the fact that he started three out of four games with not doing too much, it's just surprising that they didn't decide to flip Posey in there at catcher until today. Two and one. The Giants offense has pretty much been Brandon Belt in uh, the game two, uh, game in game number two of the series. Max Muncy's on deck. Three one. And ball four. So a leadoff walk for Justin Turner with two away. And now that will bring up Max Muncy. Does Bumgarner and Muncy ever have some history? Hitting 313, 22 home runs, 57 home runs. And uh, too bad there's not an ocean at Ch uh, Chavez Ravine. First pitch, strike one. I think that was the last season for Bumgarner when he was with the Giants. Is when Max Muncy hit one into the McCovey Cove and told Bumgarner to go get it out of the ocean. That was a legendary moment. Oh, two. The 0-2 pitch from Madison will strike out Max Muncy to end the first inning. So Bumgarner gets the final laugh right there. All right, Lamont Wade Jr. lead off the top of the second, hitting 337. First pitch from Scherzer to Wade. Hit the left, but fouled 0-1. And one and now the other one cutter inside hit and fouled what a day yesterday from Walker Bueller Star Wars was well needed from him and he had a good one one away here in the top of the second as Lamont Wade Jr. strikes out second strike out of the day for Max Scherzer <clears throat> alright that'll bring up Brandon Belt hero of game two in this, in this series First pitch slider, strike one. A one and now the 0 one cutter. It in front of the plate. Will Smith will field it, throw it the first two away. All right, two away. Now that'll bring up Brandon Crawford hitting 227 home runs and 20 ribbies. First pitch, fastball, strike one right down the middle. Crawford not having the best season. Still struggling at the play like many from like the past few years. 0-2. Oh Alright, the 2 fastball inside from Scherzer will be fouled back. Alright, 0-2. Now the 0-2 changeup will be low. 1-2. and two. Good take. Pitcher push in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right, right two, now. Now the fastball away. Oh, high, two and two. Crawford having a good AB here now. The two two to Crawford. The curveball will be a strikeout looking to end the top of the second. All right, well, Smith will lead off the bottom of the second, hitting 272, 15 home runs, and 50 home runs. First pitch from Bumgarner to Will Smith, taking ball one. <clears throat> Third game of the series for Smith. Had yesterday off. Kbert caught Walker Bueller, one and one. Instead of Smith. And one one. Hit, and that will be a base hit to left field. This might be a double. Will Smith turning to second. And that will be a double for Will Smith, so a leadoff double to lead off the bottom of the second 
for Will Smith. That ball kind of hit the gap a little bit, and that's how I was able to take it and uh, tag up the second, and now that'll bring up CT3, hitting 318. First pitch to Taylor, ball one. One zero to t to Taylor. The one zero pitch. Two and zero. Two zero to Chris Taylor. The two zero pitch from Bumgarner. Two and one. All right, two one. The pitch from Mad Bum. Hit the right. This will not drop the right fielder. Uh, I think that's Ustremski. will catch it. And uh, Will Smith will tag up the third. So an okay swing. And now that will bring up Kyle Seeger hitting 314. Hits better at home than he does on the road. See what he can do here. <clears throat> First pitch to Kyle Seeger. Hit and fouled, strike one. One for ten, lifetime against Bumgarner. Oh, and two. Oh, two to Kyle Seeger. The O2 pitch. One and two. Right, one two to Kyle Seeger the pitch from Bumgarner will strike him out and uh, Posey didn't throw down the first So an E2 on Buster Posey. I don't know what happened. I, I I made it look like I was in a tag with Chris I mean with Will Smith and Then Buster Posey didn't even make a throw down the first and now that will bring up Ryan Braun with runners at the corners with one away hitting 111 first pitch Taking ball one. <clears throat> Getting another start in a Dodgers uniform is Ryan Brown. Back to back starts. The 1 0. Hit to right. This will bring a runner home. Ustremski at the wall. Will Smith will tag, and it's going to be a 1 0 ball game. Thanks to Ryan Brown. First RBI of the year for Braun. He'll take it, man. That's a good swing. And just driving a ball to right field to bring him a run. That's that. That was the job we needed him to do. Seager at first. First pitch to Serger. Foul it off. Strike one. <clears throat> oh man, that has to hurt if you're Posey and Bumgarner. That error from Posey, man. I, I just don't know why he didn't. I just don't know why he didn't throw down to first. That was weird. O2. The O2 from Bumgarner to Scherzer. I'll be fouled back. <coughs> Alright, the O2. Kyle Seeger will lead, throw over, and he'll get back safely. Kyle Seeger playing shortstop today for Corey Seeger. The 0 2. The pitch will be popped up. And an easy play for Chapman to end this inning. But the Dodgers do strike for one thanks to the sacrifice fly from Ryan Braun. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their boys in blue this season. Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. All right, Heidi, thank you. All right, Tommy Lestella will lead off the top of the third in the lineup, hitting seventh, hitting 288. First pitch, hit. Nice play. Oh, my God, what a play from Max Muncy. Max Muncy does not usually start at second, but he's must, he must be taking notes. 
from the uh, from the regular starter Gavin Lux that was absolutely amazing Lux and Monty might be having a conversation and now bottom half of the first I mean in the bottom half of the third coming up just so then they could talk about how good that play was a two and now the O2 cutter from Scherzer to Ustremski will be fouled back Strumsky usually hits <clears throat> higher up in the lineup, but he's been struggling in this series, so I think that's why Gabe Kapler put him down in the eighth hole. Alright, the O2. Change up to Strumsky. Will be hit to the left. Trey Turner will make the play and two away here in the top of the third. So two away, and now that will bring up Madison Bumgarner hitting 242, two home runs, and two RBIs. First pitch fastball right down the middle, strike one looking. <clears throat> oh, one and now the 0 1 pitch. The slider, 0 oh, 2. Oh, two and now the 0 2 cutter. Will. Strike out Bumgarner in a 1-2-3 inning for Max Muncy. I mean, blah, for Max Scherzer. Two and bets. The two o. Three and o. All right, three o. Hit the right and fouled off. All right, three and one from Bumgarner to Mookie Betts. Fouled back and now three and two. All right, the three two from Mad Bum to Betts will be a walk. So a leadoff walk here in the bottom of the third, and now that will bring up Trey Turner. He's one for eight in the series. First pitch from Madison. Hit, fouled back, strike one. I feel like a lot of the Dodgers in this series who usually come through for us have been struggling. Seager, Trey Turner. Um, I, don't, I wish I could see everybody else's numbers. Gavin Lux, he's really struggled in this series. 0-1, the pitch. One in, oh, 0-2, all righty, good pitch. For Mad Bum, I really thought that was going to be a ball. All right, the 2 There goes Betts. One in the dirt, and Mookie Betts will have an easy stolen base. 27 stolen base of the year for Mookie Betts. All right, the 1-2 will be hit the left. This ball's carrying. This ball is gone. Trey Turner with a two-run home run for his 17th home run of the year. And, uh... It's a 3-0 ball game. What a swing from Trey Turner. Now he's two for nine in the series. And he has a huge swing in today's game. And now that will bring up Justin Turner, a 3-0 ball game. First pitch to JT, walked in his first at bat and swinging at the first one for strike one. Trying to be aggressive. Oh, one from Bumgarner. Quickly 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did. Oh, 2 and now the pitch. Hit up the middle, and this will drop for a base hit. 
So single with no outs here in the bottom of the second. I mean in the bottom of the third, excuse me, after the Trey Turner two run home run. And now that will bring up Max Muncy hitting 312 now or probably 311. Oh for one and swinging at the first one, strike one. What a beautiful day at Dodger Stadium. Yo one, one and one. All in two. All right, the one two. Turner will lead the pitch from Mad Bum. There goes JT, the pop up. Trey Turner will go back to first and get back there safely. So after this series, the Rockies come to Coors Field. I mean, the Rockies come. To Dodger Stadium and the San Francisco Giants go to play the Pirates at uh, Oracle Park so they start a homestand against the Pirates that should be an easy series for the Giants I think 1-0 well Smith one for one with a double now one and one All right, the one one, one and two, good swing. All right, the one two, two and two. Oh, in the dirt. And how do I know the Giants? And well, how, how do I know the Rockies are coming? I just looked at my phone and looked at the schedule of the real life schedule because obviously this is the real life schedule. And then will be the show. And I went back all the way to July. So, we'll be facing the Rockies, who uh, hit down to Chapman, double play ball, who split the series with the Mariners. So... All right, Starling Marte will lead off the top of the fourth. 0 for 1. First pitch, fastball, strike 1. Oh, right, 1 and now the 0 1 cutter. Hit the left. This ball is carrying, but Trey Turner will get back there close to the warning track and 1 away. So 1 away here in the top of the fourth. And now that would bring up Buster Posey. Alright, Buster Posey will lead off the top of the fourth. First pitch, ball one. Oh no, another 1 0 -oh pitch to Posey. Two and zero. Alright, two to Buster Posey. The two zero cutter. Not two and one. The two one. The fastball hit. And Braun, nice play, two away here in the top of the fourth. Yeah, that bat right there from Posey. Well, now that I bring up Matt Chapman, one for four. First pitch, fastball inside, ball one. One oh, another one oh pitch. Foul back, one and one. Yeah, one one, and the curve. Hit right back to Max Scherzer, third of first in a one two three inning. Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. 
Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also... All right, first pitch, ball one. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. 2-0. Okay, thank you, Heidi. 2-0 now. All right, the 2 0 to CT3. Hit up the middle for a base hit. Oh, I love getting perfect swings in this ball game because. Well, in every game, just because it sounds so amazing. All right, with a single, that'll bring up Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1, struck out, and reached on an error from Buster Posey. Just didn't feel like throwing it down to first. It was, it was weird what happened to Posey. Can Kyle see you get a hit here? First pitch from Bumgarner, taking ball one. <clears throat> one oh. The one oh pitch. Hit into the gap, and this is going to drop for a base hit. And Chris Taylor will stay at third, so a double for Kyle Seeger. And now that'll bring up Ryan Braun, 14th double of the year for Kyle Seeger. That was a beautiful swing from Seeger. And at first I thought that, that ball maybe had a chance of getting caught because the ball was kind of floating towards Starling Marte. But thankfully it didn't, and now that'll bring up Ryan Braun. It's a sacrifice fly earlier in this game. First pitch, ball one. Still looking to get his first hit of the year for the Dodgers. But he has his first RBI for the boys in blue. 1-0. Oh, no. Well, he has a hit, actually, but he's looking for his first home run and maybe a little bit of more hits. He only has one hit so far. 2-0 to Braun. 2-1. Good sweeping curve. Two veterans against each other right now. 2-1. The pitch. 2-2. Two and two. Good sweeping curve. 2-2 two, two to Ryan Braun. The pitch from Bumgarner. 3-2. and two. Great take. Mm, the 3 2. And ball four. So a walk and a pretty good at bat. And now that will bring up Max Scherzer. Gabe Kapler's going to come out and pull. Max, I mean, pull Mad Bum. And uh, that was a tough first outing in his new uniform. Well, new but old uniform. And now that will bring in Nick Tropiano. And that will bring up Max Scherzer. First pitch from Trippiano, trying to lay down a bunt, 0-1. Oh oh 0-1, and 0-2, oh Jesus. All right, quickly 0-2 oh to Max Scherzer. The 0-2 pitch, 1-2. Making that bout count if you're Max Scherzer. The 1-2. It, a double play ball. They're going to be able to turn two. It's a 4-0 ball game. So we get a run, and the Giants get the double play they wanted. And now that will bring up Max. I mean, that will bring up Mookie Betts. Oh, for one. First pitch. Foul back. Strike one. So, all one. The all one pitch. It fouled back 0-2, so 4-0 ball game. You know, at least, you know, we didn't turn into it, like, get out in a triple player thing, so I'll let that double play count. Okay, bat swing, throw from Posey down to first to end the fourth, but we do score one to extend our lead against these Giants. Well, late, uh, Lamont Wade Jr. is up, 1 for, I mean, 0 for 1. First pitch, strike one. 
And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. Uh, one from Scherzer to Wade. You know the guy out there on one and the one. Completely shutting you down. Count now a ball and a strike. <clears throat> one, one, and now the fastball. Two and one. All right, the two one slider to Wade. Two and two. That's a great pitch. All right, two two and now the fastball. High and three and two. Brandon Belt's on deck. All right, three two changeup. With we'll strikeout Wade one away here in the uh, in the top of the fifth. Fifth strikeout of the day for Max Scherzer. And now that will bring up Brandon Belt. Belt 0 for 1 has two home runs in this series. First pitch cutter, strike 1. 1 and now the 0 1 fastball. 0 and 2. Alright, DO2 curveball will be fouled off. I don't know how he got a piece of it, but he did. Oh, two and now the fastball to Belt will be fouled back. Alright, DO2 and now the cutter will be popped up into the left. Trey Turner will get there two away here in the top of the fifth. <clears throat> so two away and now that will bring up Brandon Crawford. Oh for one. First pitch fastball ball one. One oh and now the one oh slider. Hit and fouled one and one. All right, the 1-1, one, one. the fastball hit the left field. Trey Turner will tell Chris Taylor he got it in a 1-2-3 inning for Max Scherzer. All right, Trey Turner will lead off the bottom of the fifth, one for two with a home run. First pitch from Nick Trippiano, ball one. One oh, another one oh pitch to Turner. One and one, good slider. All right, the one one. Two and one. Trey's kind of been busy out there and left today. Max Scherzer producing a lot of fly outs in this ball game. Two two. Now to Scherzer, I mean to Turner. The two two pitch hit. And Belt will make the play. Trippiano and Turner a foot race, and Trippiano will win it. So one away, and now that bring up Justin Turner. One for one with a single with a walk. First pitch, ball one. Tied for fourth in the National League with five triples. One and one, good slider. Hmm, the one one hit in one and two one out, nobody on. All right the one two from Nick Trippiano will be hit and belt will make another play on it throw to Trippiano and two away What a play from Brandon belt on that one flipping it look like behind his back And now that will bring up Max Muncy. He's over two First pitch ball one One oh, another one oh pitch. Fouled back one and one. <clears throat> All right, the one one. Two and one. All right, the two one. Hit against the shift, and that'll be a single for Max Muncy with two away. So two out base knock for Max Muncy. And now that'll bring up Will Smith. He's one for two with a double. First pitch from Trippiano. Ball one. Ball one, no 
out single isn't all that bad, but it can be. Well, no, another pitch, one and one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. All right, the one one, and now the pitch, two and one. The two one, fouled back two and two. Giants zero, Dodgers four. Two away here in the bottom of the fifth. The pitch three and two now. And Chris Taylor's on deck. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. Three two. The pitch fouled back. Couldn't tell if that was gonna be a ball or or a strike. The three two there goes Muncie and that's ball four. So a walk for Will Smith and now that will bring up Chris Taylor. One for two in the series and had a hard hit single in his last at bat. First pitch to Taylor, ball one. Slider way inside. With runners in scoring position this year, Taylor's hitting 349. Best hitter when it comes to that on the Dodgers, I'm pretty sure. 2-0. The 2-0 pitch, 3-0, and Kyle Seeger's on deck. Three zero. The pitch hit up the middle. Now bringing a run. Chris Taylor wanted himself an RBI, and that's exactly what he's gonna get. I think that's his thirtieth RBI of the year. Swinging on a three zero, and it's a five zero ball game as Chris Taylor has another single, but this time this one's coming with an RBI. All right, that bring up Kyle Seager, one for two. Doubled in his last at bat and swinging at the first one, strike one. <laughs> Throw over and Taylor will get back safely. Oh, one and now the 0 1 pitch. There goes Taylor. Throw a pitch in the dirt and Taylor will have an easy stolen base. 15th stolen base of the year for CT3. Right, one one the pitch two and one great take the two one fouled back two and two all right two two the pitch to Seeger and a strikeout looking great pitch from Nick Trippiano to end the fifth Well, Tommy Lestella will lead off the top of the sixth, though for one. 51 pitches through five. For Max Scherzer, and the first one will be fouled off for strike one. Well, one and now the 0-1 fastball. Hit to left. Turner will have to roam down a little bit and one away here in the top of the sixth. So one away, now that bringing. Mike Ustremski, 0 for 1. <clears throat> First pitch fastball. High for ball 1. 1 0, now the 1 0 change up to Ustremski. 1 and 1, change up right down the middle of the zone. 1 1, and now the slider. 2 and 1. Two one and now the two one pitch, pitch away and foul it off. All right, the two two cutter will be high three and two. All right, three two and now the three two curveball from Scherzer will be fouled off. All right, three two and now the fastball from Scherzer will be fouled off. All right, the three two eighth pitch of this AB, the change up will strike out Yastrzemski looking two away, six strikeout, and now that will bring up Donovan Solano hitting two ninety six, eight home runs and forty six RBIs. 
First pitch slider. Hit and fouled. I don't know how he has a better average than Tommy LaStella. Has most hits on the, the Giants or something like that. And he's not even a starter. It makes no sense. Like, what? Like, what? How's, how's he not starting? I don't get it. Oh, two, and now the slider. Will strike out Nick Tripiano. All right, Caleb Berger will be the pitcher. 0 0.60 ERA. Wow. Uh, Ryan Braun will be the leadoff hitter. All right. First tri uh, first pitch to Braun, 0-1. Oh no <clears throat> Braun trying to add to his hits in his, Do in his Dodger days. Uh, only has one so far. The O2 to Ryan Braun, high one and two. Maybe we'll see what we can get for Ryan, for Ryan Braun. He was a free agent. Maybe we can do a little trade. <laughs> Even though, like, the thing about why I signed Ryan Braun is I signed Ryan Braun because I knew I didn't really want to keep him on the squad. So, like, if I trade for him and get, like, you know, Alper Pujols or... Somebody I actually want on the team that I don't think we'll ever see Matt Beatty back on the roster And I really want Beatty to be on the roster so it's like a uh, Do you do you make the switch and do you try and trade Ryan Braun for another player? Or do you just keep Ryan Braun and you and you I can't do nothing with them so far It feels like but do I keep him let him do his thing for us and then when I feel like Matt Beatty is ready because he's actually been dominating down in AAA. He has like two home runs. His average is pretty well. He has like seven or eight RBIs already. Like he's playing really well, but I'm not going to bring him up until maybe after this Colorado series and then after the Giants series. So probably next week we won't be, we still won't see Matt Beatty in a Dodgers, in a Los Angeles Dodgers uniform, not an OKC Dodger uniform. So who knows when we'll see Matt Beatty he's just doing his thing down in the minors um the, the one thing about Ryan Braun is he hasn't seen any action all year besides of what I'm doing with him so it's not gonna be easy for Ryan Braun to to just oh that's gonna not drop but oh my god let Stella can't make the play Scherzer is safe is that a base hit any four off oh. So on E4, now that I bring up Mookie Betts, we're gonna, uh, okay, we're gonna keep Betts in. So on E4, on Tommy LaStella, strike one to Mookie Betts. So who, who knows what's gonna happen with uh, Ryan Braun. Uh, Matt Beatty, hopefully, he, you know, when I call him back up to the uh, major leagues, he's actually ready to compete and help us. Get some good swings on the ball. Um, and hopefully he's ready just to be, help this squad out. You know, I, I feel like I dominated with them in years past. If you go back to, like, last year's game, I did really good with Matt Beatty. And now all of a sudden, I, I can't do it. Oh, my God. This is hit the left. This is over everybody's head. I don't know why Max Scherzer ain't running. Oh my god, okay, there's gonna be a f oh my god, they're throwing home oh, Max Scherzer will be out Oh my god, what's going on, bro? Okay, uh Bad base running. I didn't even realize that I sent Trey Turner to third. Whoops Alrighty, well, that's not the way I wanted the bottom of the sixth to end, but it that's the way it did All right, starting Marte will lead off the top of the seventh first pitch fastball strike one A one now the old one slider. Oh and two. Oh two. The curveball. The strikeout Marte looking one away. Great pitch. Eighth K of the game from Max Scherzer. And now that will bring up Buster Posey over oh two. First pitch fastball. Hit. 
to Muncie. Throw to Braun and two away. So two away here in the top of the seventh. And now that will bring up Matt Chapman. First pitch change up high and in. Ball one. Middle of the zone and in. 1-0 and now the fastball. 1-1. One one. <laughs> one one and now the cutter. 1-2. One Alright, the 1-2 slider away. Will be hit up the middle for a base hit in the no-hitter. And the perfect game ends here in the top of the seventh, thanks to Matt Chapman. With a slider, what just did not go in the location I wanted. Wow, what an outing from Scherzer. First pitch to Wade, strike one. A one and now the changeup. Hit the left. Trey Turner on the move, and that will end the top of the seven. So seven scoreless innings for Max Scherzer, but the Giants finally hit the hit column. Damn it. All right. That'll bring up Turner, one for two. First pitch, and this one's hammered to right. Justin Turner says, you're going to end the no-hitter. We're going to add our lead up. 6-0 ball game. Thanks to JT. And a beautiful swing, man. The Giants, bro. They are absolutely struggling in this game. They struggled this whole series. And if uh, Brandon Bell didn't get lucky off of Kershaw in game, in game two of the series, they probably would have gotten swept. As that's hit, slow roll to Brandon Bell. He'll take it to the bag himself, one away. All right, one away, and now that I bring up Will Smith, we're going to pull him out of the ball game and bring in a uh, Caber Ruiz. Let him catch the rest of this ball game, hitting 391, three home runs, and 12 RBIs. I'm looking to bring in Gavin Lux to play right field for Mookie Betts, as this is hit the right, just so then I can see what Gavin Lux can do in the outfield. They 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 tested it. In real life, the Dodgers did, and Gavin Lux did okay. So why not let him do it in the video game? Maybe, maybe I'll switch Gavin Lux and Trey Turner. Where Gavin Lux would start every day at left, and and uh, Trey Turner would start at second for the rest of the season. Who knows? I really am digging uh, Gavin Lux at second, though. Let it just be an experience in this ball game. Two and two. All right, the two-two pitch to CT three will be a jam shot roller down to Matt Chapman. The third to first and two away. I mean three away now to end the seventh inning, but we do score one thanks to Justin Turner's solo home run. All right, Kay Burroughese is behind home plate. We're gonna bring in Gavin Lux. Substitution right field, Gavin Lux. This, this is a fun experiment, Gavin Lux in right field. Alrighty, hopefully, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Should have brought, I could bring out AJ Pollock, but we'll see if, if uh, Trey Turner, uh, if his spot comes back up in the batting order in the bottom of the eighth. If not, then this game is meant to be that AJ Pollock will not enter. Alright, one away here in the top of the eighth. Uh, slow roller over to Max Muncy. Man, I cannot believe Matt Chapman gets a hit to make sure this no hitter is no not even a thing. 0-1. That's one thing what I hate the most is when I pitch a gem with one of these pitchers out of all the like arms we have and I get so close to a no hitter and I cannot get it done. It just breaks my heart. Two and one. New pit, new catcher for uh, Max Scherzer. I'm pretty sure it's pretty weird to see uh, Caper Ruiz behind home play. Oh my God. Lux two away. Lux is first playing right. He caught the ball. 
Man, that was that was nerve wracking. All right, two away, and now that bring up Tommy Lestella. Eighty pitches so far for Scherzer, and the first pitch fouled ball one. I mean, excuse me, strike one. Man, that fly ball from Crawford into right was a little nerve wracking for me and Gavin Lux. I went to, of course, the ball find uh, found a uh, Lux pretty quickly. Uh, two change up and a strikeout to end the top of the eighth. So it looks like uh, Max Scherzer will go all the way for this game, just like Bueller did yesterday. All right, Kyle Seager will lead off the bottom of the eighth. First pitch from Barbaker. Strike one. Seager one for three with a double today. Got himself a base hit. Yo, one. Fouled back now quickly 0-2. All right, the 0 2. And now a strikeout looking. So, a third strikeout of the day for Kyle Seeger. And now that'll bring up Ryan Braun on the season. He's 1 for 10. But I don't have a lot of high expectations for Braun. Uh, you know, I, I just put him on the team to uh, let Max Muncy, let Matt Beatty go into the AAA and do his thing. All right, the one-one from Bar Baker to Braun, two and one. So this is its eleventh at bat of the year for Ryan Braun, and he only has one hit so far. The two-one hit the center, and that will not drop two away. I thought bring up Max Scherzer. He's 0 for 3. Has himself an RBI. And he's just going to lay down a bunt to get back on the mound uh, to try and end this game. So 6 0 lead going into the top of the ninth. All right, Mikey Stremski will lead off the top of the ninth. Man, if you're the Giants, you got to ask yourself you win two out of, well, you know, you win one out of four here at Dodger Stadium. You play the Pittsburgh Pirates next. Is that a base hit? So two hits today for the Giants. Um, so. Alright, that'll bring up Alex Dickerson. In 265. First pitch fastball hit. Double play ball, Muncie. To Seeger to first for the double play. So if you're the Giants, you know you're playing the Pirates next. You gotta, you gotta beat the Pirates. Like if you don't beat the Pirates, if you don't sweep them, you gotta ask yourself what's going on if you're the San Francisco Giants, because you sweep the Cardinals before coming to Dodger Stadium. You win one out of three here at Dodger Stadium, which sneaking one ain't bad, but your mindset in this series was you gotta win two. Thankfully for the Rock, for the Giants, the Rockies lose two to, I mean, they lose one to the Mariners, and the Padres lose a few games, so it's not like anybody, it's not like the Padres and Rockies snuck away with the division, or that wild card game yet, oh my god, Lux, Lux will catch at the end of the game, two plays for Gavin Lux, out in right field, a complete game shutout, but the Giants need to have a good series coming up. That's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And uh, the Dodgers won two, three out of four, looking like a solid team. Giants had a rough game, and uh, Madison Bumgarner, his next start will probably be against the Dodgers. So, like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Max Scherzer, play of the game, gives up two hits, nine Ks. And on in his pitch, our bullpen's happy because they didn't have to pitch once, and the Rockies are coming to town, and they got a pretty solid lineup, so our bullpen might be out there pretty much. Well, maybe a good good amount of that series. So like, comment, subscribe, turn on this post notifications, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.